hello beautiful piscean welcome into my channel thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're doing well i am sage sunset and i am an intuitive card reader so i'm here to present um love reading for the sign of pisces for the upcoming seven days right, let's get started pisces yes yeah, so i hope you find messages here that resonate with you and are able to help you along your journey so let's get into your reading I see blocking, I see maybe having to be stable, having to be grounded because of strife or hard times. So just going through hard times and not going through hard times, but just something facing hardship sometimes causes us to strengthen our boundaries, right? To, to stand firmer, to be more grounded, because that's what it calls for some time, right? So I feel that you're going inside of yourself, developing these boundaries, and it's coming by way of you using your intuition. So your intuition keeps you grounded, your sense of knowing, awareness. Some of you may be very skillful in this area, maybe prophetic. Yes, Pisceans are prophetic people, water bodies, emotions. Um, so very skillful, very creative. Some of you could be having a bit of contention within your your life it could be ideas feelings things around you that are manifesting that keeps you in a bit of conflict i see here pisces also financial stability like you have to give and so you're giving you have a business set up some of you could really be blocking a relationship this is um a love reading and so <laughs> i'm not seeing a lot of hearts yet so we'll, we'll see what's coming up for you but i do see someone blocking maybe i feel when i'm looking at the playing cards over here pisces what i realize is that there is a king here that's blocking so maybe he's defending his soulmate because this is the two of hearts the two of souls soulmate energy so maybe this person is seeing someone maybe another king perhaps another man or you know another person wanting to intervene in your relationship and you're like hell no with that sword because this person has no boundaries this energy here and sapphire sign aries leo sagittarius they have like little integrity and so they'll i feel like this person would come after your relationship if they feel like that is what they need to do like they i don't feel like they weren't brought up well you know that energy and so you have to like really snap into your power right now and to really defend what is yours. This could be you loving on yourself. But it is a love reading. So let's talk about relationships here. Right? So it could be a relationship that you're defending. Someone may be wanting to come in and create third party energy in your life here. This person. And I feel like they're not even being respectful. Like, so you have to be defending. Like, yes, yeah, stand up. This is the king of swords energy being defiant. Standing up for you believe in. And it's also repeated here with the Queen of Swords. So you could be a female that's having to defend your turf against someone wanting to intervene in your relationship. You know, you have to just be direct about what it is. So maybe that's what is causing a, some conflict. Maybe it's disturbing your work process as well. Could be for some of you. And so now you're really diving inside, filling out your intuition, standing firm, believing in yourself, trusting. I like that energy. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. So some message of affection, love, gratitude, attention. Um, some feeling of emotional stability and wellness coming into you and this is i feel like this is how you feel because this is a water card maybe you feel like offering your love to someone who is this person an earth sign perhaps feel like offering your love finding balance that you feel so good about yourself you i feel like you just want to to see that feeling in you reflected outside. So maybe you're looking to meet your match. You see someone that you like. So you're like, you're making that move toward them. Okay, so now we're getting into a love reading. 
Seven of Cups. Indecision. Not being sure of how to move forward. What to say. Like, what do I do? Do I take this, this person flowers or or what? What do I do? <laughs> how, do I, how do I make this approach? How do I send this message? Okay? So maybe that's what's keeping you from moving forward. But maybe you do feel like giving this a try. Moving out of the conflict in your mind. Maybe being doubtful about making this approach. <clears throat> okay, so we have you wanting to follow your intuition. Wanting to move with your heart. Wanting to feel grounded and stable. Because I feel like you feel this, like passion in this situation. Like it is something that is in need. A gut feeling, an instinct that tells you that <clears throat> it wants to pull you in this direction whosoever this is that you're you, you're wanting to offer your love to right pulling you in this direction so i feel like you're about to start see there's another two here reflecting trusting your intuition to go on this journey to go on this journey aligning with your intuition Aligning with the movement of your path, just following, being free, flowing, allowing movement. And that's how water moves your emotions, water energy. And it just carries fearlessly where it needs to be. And so you express. And before you know it, you're like, when did I make this decision? Because you just allow things to flow instead of maybe wanting to be perfect. Okay. Hmm. So maybe some of you are waiting to feel more grounded, like you're putting the pieces, the pieces together, Pisces. So you're you're really like working it out in you, putting the pieces together, making sure you feel ready, grounded, <clears throat> stable, confident clear getting ready to make the approach to make the move because see once i feel like this these are sevens it's the seven of swords and the seven of cups so i feel like once you were a bit indecisive but i feel now you're moving forward step by step hmm I feel like maybe moving away from what others believe and sticking to what is right for you. And that is also having that integrity in yourself. Going inside and figuring out what is true to you. See again, like I just thought of this card going inside and figuring out what's good for you what moves to take grounded in your heart space you could be leaving an energy behind of i want to say it is just just where there's not a lot of affection it's like a block a cold area oh remember that we did have the blocks up here like an area where there isn't a lot of love expressed Maybe this was the norm in your city, in your surrounding, your home. And so I feel like you want to just kind of separate from what you see around you day to day and do what's right for you. Going to ward. Oh my gosh, going to ward. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> going to ward, the two of cups energy repeated once more. Confirmation. Okay confirmation going toward a love energy i love this my hands feel excited i feel like you feel excited like thrill mm, i like that so you're going to offer your love could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or it could just be that you two are divine together 
that passion, that soul connection, that feeling of intimacy shared with two people. And that is why I feel like that is what pulls you. And this is another two represented here. Two of cups. You see? As if it is pulling you into alignment. Alignment, right? To make this move. Just allow the flow. Allow the flow, I feel. To flow. And it, I feel like your emotions will just get you there fearlessly. Pisces. Hmm amazing so remember Pisces that this could also be someone coming into you right okay this could also be a love offering for you I cannot stop smiling I love it like a, a, a commitment to one another a vow to it feels like a new time to set the trend to be different hmm Oh my gosh, I feel like this is how you feel. This has been as if it is a, hmm, a blessing, this union that you share. It's a blessing. It's divine. It's been watched over. There's balance between the two of you here. There's balance emotional stability emotional support affection love <sighs> amazing filling each other's cups nurturing one another this feels like the energy of two water signs of different nature but that mellow energy both people loving to be out in nature the sunlight laughing and I, I see a lot of smiles like people people just smiling inside out you may live out in the um in the like you may live in an environment where there's there's a lot of green there's a lot of beauty nature is is um nature stands out in your environment so maybe not in this city area that's what i'm saying so or maybe you do but you have a garden and your home is just so beautiful it, it is a reflection of your just your soul your essence i like a blessed union in the house in the home between you two pisces pisces look at you what do you think about my um what should i call it scary cat eyes look at you i hope it wasn't kind of weirding you out what do you think look at you that's kitten oh my god the empress hmm. let's see pisces with the empress card i am feeling the outcome can be very beautiful for you too there's a lot of prosperity, a lot of emotions, intuition, a lot of things to manifest together, to create. I feel like even in the womb, maybe having children together. But it's not just children, it's creating in the unknown together. You two can sync your psyche and manifest. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful connection between two people who are you know on the same level about the same thing the same feelings and that's so powerful maybe you can some of maybe you from time to time fear this intimate power that you share with this person as if it could be lost and then you'd feel like you've lost your other half or something uh you know but it's a powerful it's a unique connection blessing fruitfulness I feel like the earth, the earth itself loves the energy of you two together standing on it. You know, I don't, you know what, if you two like walking barefoot together or something, I feel like the earth ignites. Hmm. Or this could just be you alone, Pisces, who knows, right? <laughs> Right, so we do have intuition here, high sense of intuition, as if something is coming, as if waiting for that person, as if maybe your person is waiting for you to come, 
or you are waiting for this person to approach you with this love offer here or they're, they're waiting for you so that's for some of you your person is waiting knowing that you exist knowing how they feel about you already hmm. <laughs> oh my god God, oh my gosh the emperor <laughs> all right emotions oh Pisces the emperor card the, so the outcome I feel is you two coming together I feel like I'm saying this person knows you're coming because you two are definitely soulmate vibration look at this two of hearts energy two of souls union the emperor and the empress beautiful you two will meet uh, i feel like you are moving toward this person pisces you feel so like you have much to offer you feel balanced stable ready like i'm ready for love but if they i'm talking to a male pisces they're not really singing right like i'm ready you just know it inside of your heart more grounded ready to lead i feel ready to lead both of you can lead together you may be older than this person or this person may be older than you pisces hmm. there's a bit of earth energy here too along with water earth energy is taurus virgo capricorn But we do have water, water, plenty of water energy. So I know that water energy is you, but I'm saying it could be between, between you and another water sign, Pisces. Hmm, the home. Governing over the home. This person could be a boss. Have their own business. I feel like have land as well land like farmland hmm. okay Pisces all right this has been a reading let us take a look at the let's see what the other card would be oh this is the union that the celebration joining together the four of wands dreams together being able to manifest and prosper together amazing a card of marriage also and the bottom of the deck okay we have the tower card maybe it's it's representing new beginnings for some of you. Are two people now moving together? As if, if you, I feel like the Tower card here is saying that you were on another, on the, like both of you weren't in the same place and then a force caused you to be moving toward each other. The Tower card. So it's not an ending, it's creating that, it's, it's creating something, maybe something has ended that is uniting you two, to, and it's kind of calling you to move in one another's direction. And that happens when both of you are really aligned with who you are. And so you can come together. Oh, you see? Come together, coming together. So the tower card, although it is an ending, it's coming, it's something beginning, right? Okay, Pisces. All right, thank you so much. I hope that you found messages in this reading that was able to help you along your journey. Amazing reading, I enjoyed it so much. And if you did, please give my video a thumbs up and <laughs> subscribe to my channel for future uploads, Pisces. I'll see you next time. Remember, you can do, be, have everything and anything in this world that you desire, Pisces, because you are all. Dream big. All is within you. Much love. Take care.